Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here and welcome back to another Reaper Reviews. Uh, the name Reaper Reviews really fits this animatronic that I am reviewing today really, really well because the animatronic I am reviewing is the animated Rotting Reaper. Let me just turn the box around here. Exclusively sold at, at home. I don't even know where to begin with this guy. He is just amazing. Now, I did hear um, that he is in limited stock this year. Uh, my at home had one in the box, which was this one, and one on display. And that was all they had. That was all they had for the Rotting Reaper. So, I'm very lucky that I am able to own him. I'm one of the lucky ones who was able to get their hands on one and all I can say is just he's amazing so like I said he was sold at at home or is being sold at at home here's the box it says animated rotting reaper here's this Stands seven feet tall, LED light up eyes and chest, mouth moves, five different sound recordings, upper body turn side to side, motion sensor activated, volume control 5.9 full 1.5 amp AC adapter included. And basically, this is just a brown box with with the uh, sticker on the front. There we go. Get it to focus here. Sorry about that, guys. My camera doesn't want to focus sometimes. Anyway, here he is on the box. You can see the full picture of him. Upper body turn side to side and head turns. He retails for $249.99. With tax included, he he came out to $273, which in my opinion is definitely worth the full $270 that's including tax. This guy is massive. Like, really, really big. I mean, I'm 5'9", and my head comes up to about here. That's how tall this sucker is. He's taller than Lem Ripper from Spirit. He's even taller than some of the new animatronics from Spirit. Although, um, Mr. Dark being nine feet, because he never jumps up, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Which I will be picking up Mr. Dark this season, so stay tuned for that review and demo here in the future. But anyway, back to Rotting Reaper. He is just amazing. I just love the creepy cloth. His scythe is huge. Um, here's the chest. It is plastic, but that's because of the lights inside it. Um, mine, um, from time to time, I like to pull the creepy cloth in front of his face because I think it looks really cool. But for the review and... I did a couple of demos, one with the freaky fabric in his face, 
and the one without, but for the review, I'm doing it without it in his face, so you can see it. Uh, very, very nicely detailed skull for him. Moving mouth. Yeah, mine, you can hear the plastic of the inner mouth kind of clank a little bit, but to be honest, I really like that. It adds to the creepiness. And I like how Seasonal Visions made a new uh, mold for the skull for him. He, I'm just at a loss for words. Uh, here's the hand holding the skull that also lights up. Um, I think the reason why there's a hole on top of here is to let the light come out. So if you really wanted to, you could Put in some uh, red um, translucent tissue paper out of the uh, top here and the eyes and the nose. And it, you can make it look like the skull is uh, flaming. But here's the hand. Yes, it is molded. It's all one big piece of plastic. But... It looks like he's actually holding the skull. Um, I like how throughout him he has these like bits of cloth hanging down and bits of freaky fabric here. Uh, let me just adjust that there. Yeah, you could really adjust it however you want. Um, I mean, it does... I mean, you do have to be careful. You don't want to move it around too much because it does want to tear, but... That's what all freaky fabric does. You don't want it to tear all the way, but if it, but if like up here tears just a tiny bit, it's perfectly fine. It happens. So, just adjust the clothes here. Yeah, you could see. Now, the one thing I will say is that I wish on the arms. On the upper part of the arms, there was Velcro and like the back to here to um, uh, hide, I don't know how well you can see it here, uh, to hide the foam, but it hides it pretty well. And yes, he does have a full Reaper's hood back here, so I really like that. Um, I have him hooked up to my 20-foot try me button from Spirit. Uh, this does not come with him. Uh, I already owned the uh, try me button, so I just have it hooked up to him. So that way, I don't always have to walk up to him to set him off. But um, he includes this rope, which a lot of props seem to have, like Looming Straw Man and... Lurching Reaper and Graveyard Reaper um, have, but I like it. Um, his phrases are the exact same of the Home Depot 7-foot uh, Inferno Reaper, which I do plan on purchasing, and I will do a comparison video on him and the Inferno Reaper if I do end up getting Inferno Reaper, I don't know if I'll be able to find him or not, but, um, yeah, but I do plan on, I also plan on getting Mr. Howell, so I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of him and Mr. Howell, even though he's a Reaper and Mr. Howell's a werewolf. I just want to see the height difference between both of them. So, yeah, but, um, he was actually, um, pretty simple to set up. It took me a little bit because, like I said, I'm five foot nine and this dude is seven foot tall. So, but very simple and classic seasonal visions set up, um, he does use the same um, style, like body turn and head turn, as I think Towering Clown, but to be honest, 
that mech has worked for many, many animatronics. And, I mean, if it's a useful mech, why change it, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it, this this is just a generic black cloth, but to be honest, all of the freaky fabric that's on like his upper um, shirt area, that's all the detail he needs. The detail he has is all he needs. I feel like he's perfect how he is right out of the box. Now, I mean, yeah, if you wanted to put fake bones around it, you could. But, I think he just looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, so enough of me um, rambling. Uh, let's get into activating him. Yes, um, sometimes he can make that creaking at the end, but that is perfectly normal. It's just, um, it, it just happens when he's finished resetting. A lot of, uh, props do that, so it's nothing that's breaking. It's, uh, completely normal. Yeah, you you can hear the um little bit of clanking in the mouth, but to be honest, I like that on mine because it just adds detail. Or yeah, pretty much because it's he he's a reaper. So the the mouth clanking sounds like rattling bones. Um I know seasonal visions with the Inferno Reaper uh, used um, basically Grimm's mechanism, but it's nice to see that uh, he has the classic uh, head side to side and body side to side movement. Because, um, like I said, I know Seasonal Visions now has made Grimm an Inferno Reaper with the head that can move up, down, left, right, sideways. And everything but I I just honestly love the classic head side to side and body side to side movement and what I like about his scythe with it being so long um, when he turns the scythe moves as well and now I know some some people like to have the scythe like pointed forward but for me I like it to the side. It looks a lot creepier that way. And I also like how Seasonal Visions always does this with the hands. They like mold it all and then put a hole right here so that way it looks like he's actually holding it without having to worry about uh, any of these fingers breaking off. Um, we'll go through his phrases one last time, but this time... 
in the dark. So here we go. turn the light back on here yeah I he's just really really cool and I, I like how seasonal visions went with the red LEDs in the eyes instead of their classic uh, yellow I mean don't get me wrong guys I I love the uh, yellow LED eyes in um, the seasonal visions reefers like motorcycle riding reefer um lurching reefer um the uh graveyard reefer etc etc but yeah he's just amazing i highly recommend him for any halloween collector he's He's a great prop for pretty much any theme. A boneyard, a graveyard. Well, boneyard and graveyard are the same thing, but yeah, he is really, really cool. And even on his own, he's a showstopper, to be quite honest. He has to be one of my favorite non-spirit animatronics. Um, with one of my favorites being the Motorcycle Reaper from Home Depot in 2017. But, I mean, like I said, I just love all the detailing they did on him. Like, with all the freaky fabric here and everything. Just everything about him is so, so cool. Uh, I'll activate him and get an up-close shot of his face. So, yeah, that is pretty much my review on the uh, Seasonal Visions at Home Halloween 2021 Rotting Reaper. And like I said, he is, from what I've heard, is only limited stock. So, um, if you go to your local at home and they have him in the box, I highly recommend getting him. Um, because, um, he is, like I said, limited stock. So, 
and I feel like he's going to sell out fast. So if you want him and they have him at your local at home, I highly recommend picking him up. He is just a great prop and I'm just lucky I was able to get my hands on one as my at home, like I said, had um, one on display and one in the box and that was all they had. So, yeah, but yeah, so that concludes my review on the At Home 2021 Life Size 7 Foot Rotting Reaper. So, thanks for watching, and bye.